Hi, welcome back. In previous lectures, we have seen how the order service will send an order event to the Kafka topic and how the stock service will consume or read the order event from the Kafka topic. So this flow so far we have completed. Next, we need to you know see how to configure and create a Kafka consumer in an email service so that email service can able to consume the message or event from the Kafka topic, right? So in this lecture, we'll see how to configure and create a Kafka consumer in an email service project so that email service can able to consume or read the order event from the Kafka topic. All right, great. Let's head over to the IntelliJ idea. Well, we have configured Kafka consumer and we have created a Kafka consumer in a stock service, right? So we need to configure the same thing in an email service. All right, so let me simply copy and paste. All right, so we don't have to write the same code and again, again, again. So let me go to application.properties file of stock service and let me simply copy this Kafka consumer configuration and let me go to email service and go to its application.properties file and let me paste it over here. All right. And the configuration, you know, looks same. Only we need to change the group ID. Okay. So we have to give a different group ID for different consumers, isn't it? So instead of stock, let's give group ID as an email and the rest of the configuration looks same. Okay, great. Next, what we need to do is we need to write the Kafka consumer in an email service. So Kafka consumer also looks same. So let me simply go to stock service project again and let me copy this Kafka folder and go to email service project and go to main package and let me paste this Kafka folder. Perfect. So let me fix the issues. So order event class is basically present in a base domains, right? So in order to get this order event class from base domains in an email service project, we have to add the dependency. So go to palm.xml of email service project, go to dependency section and here let's create a dependency and group ID let's give net dot java guides and it packed ID base hyphen domains and this is the version. Now we have added base domains project as a dependency to email service project. So let's go ahead and click on this Marvin load changes icon over here. Now let's go back to order consumer class of this email service project. Perfect. Now you can see order event class is available. Okay, great. So we no need to change anything. We just simply need to change the log statement order event received in a email service. So once this email service will receive the order event, then this email service will basically send an email to the customer. All right, so I'm not going to cover this part like sending a message or email to the customer. Okay, so the objective of this project is to just, you know, showcase how, how we can use a Kafka you know, broker for asynchronous communication between multiple microservices, right? So I'm basically writing the core logic, the rest of the thing you can go ahead and you can implement. All right, now once email service will receive the order event, then you can go ahead and write the code to send an email to the customer about order. All right, perfect. Now we have created an order consumer. It will consume the message or events from the Kafka topic. Okay, this is pretty much it and let's go to our architecture. So now we have configured Kafka consumer in an email service so that email service can able to consume or read the event from the Kafka topic. In next lecture, what we'll do, we'll run all these microservices and we'll see how the order service will send the event or message to the Kafka topic and how these consumers will consume the message or event from the single topic. Okay, basically we will see the complete demo in the next lecture. All right, great, I will see you in the next lecture.